Hello and welcome to my Thursday. Um, we're off to Swansea today because Isabel, my 16 year old, is going for her dyslexia assessment. Finally! If this is your first time to my channel, just know that I used to home educate my daughter for nine years until she was 15 and then she went to college. And during that time, it became pretty apparent to me that she was struggling with literacy really. Um, I mean, she's fine but the amount of extra hours of work that we've had to put in for spelling, reading, etc. More spelling really, and handwriting. Like, it's just ridiculous. The amount of extra time we have done just to keep her at a normal level is insane. I strongly suspect that she is on the dyslexic spectrum, but not severely dyslexic. And it's been hard to justify the expense of the assessment is £400, that's a heck of a lot of money. I was going to get her done in time for her GCSEs, just in case they thought she needed more time. As it happens, she didn't finish her English paper when she did sit her English GCSE. She still got an A, but she didn't answer all the questions because she couldn't get through them in time. So it's not that she needs it because she's struggling, because she seems to be able to manage anyway, even though she's not always finishing everything. Um, but it's just, it's one of those things we just want to know. It's like for psychological reasons, if anything. I suspect that I am and I've never known all my life. This is one of those classic cases of mother projects on child and assumes that they want what they never had, you know, kind of thing. Maybe one of these days I will get an assessment, but you know, it makes you wonder about yourself when other people find things easy that you really struggle with. But anyway, this is where she's at and for psychological reasons, if nothing else, we just want to know one way or the other. Um, and if it comes out that she isn't dyslexic, I don't know where we'll go from there, really, because it'll probably be a bit of a bash to the old ego, you know, like, well, yeah, I actually am rubbish at it, and there is no reason for it. But anyway, we'll see what happens, won't we? I think I went off-piste a bit there. What I was going to tell you was I had saved that money in my bank account to have her assessed before her GCSEs, just in case she needed extra time. But the pandemic happened and therefore we couldn't get it done. So now we can and we're just doing them after the GCSEs instead. But it'll still be good for level three, which is like A level level and going off into the university years and just life, as I said. I think it's just good to know yourself. But anyway, my boyfriend is taking us. He's very, very kindly offered to give us a lift, which is most appreciated. It would have taken us all day to get there and back, honestly, by public transport. Um... Okay, I'm losing my mind. A parcel has come from me from eBay. I'm trying to rack my brains and remember what on earth I have ordered. Did you ever get that? And you're like, oh my gosh, I've got a gap in my memory. I, mean, I suppose they sent me two gimbals to you. Oh. Right, I'm going to have to open it and have a look. <laughs> I am losing my mind. It's official, it was that lead. My 30 quid lead. That is going to last me probably for the rest of my entire career because Piranha is just such a reliable brand. Oh my god. I thought I was losing the plot, honestly. Right. We're nearly in Swansea. We've been driving for quite some time and ETA is about ooh, seven minutes before the appointment, so that's brilliant timing. Look at these rather lovely flowers. They're nice, aren't they? I like it. I think it's a lot more economical than, you know, fancy flower beds. I've just um, chucked a load of wild seeds there, I presume. And look, they've come. The bees like that stuff, don't they? looking sky. Oh, we must be nearly here. Well, this tells me it's at the end of this avenue. Oh, is it? It looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Oh, no, it does. Right. <laughs> so it was by there and she's in and she's just started her assessment. I'm prepared for the slightly chilly air. Um, we've been directed, oh car noise, sorry, been directed by the very nice lady that is now doing Izzy's assessment that if we walk down there turn left and then turn left again after the student accommodation we can get onto the riverside walk where there are lots of cafes and things like that so that's what we're gonna do go and see if we can see some boats and things like that and get something to eat ib and i are intrigued by this building we want to know is that a hollow is it open to the elements is there a net uh, we can't tell by looking at the monitor, but I bet we can tell on the, screen. on the screen. Oh no, it does look as if there's a staircase going up it, look. 
We've turned left after this student accommodation. And I think I can just see the start of the Riverside Walk straight ahead. Looks like it, doesn't it? I can see one of those flotation aid thingies over there. Yep, life boy. Here we are, we found the river's edge. We're gonna go that way. Going under the bridge. Oh, there goes a double decker over the bridge. Oh yeah, it's kind of zigzaggy the path. Don't think we can get under that one though. We're gonna have to go up onto the main road, I think. We've come across a war memorial with this gun on the top and a bird perched on it. We're going down here now. We're both getting really hungry. Well, I'm getting really hungry. Oh, wow, I suppose this must have been a, well, obviously this was a bridge, but it's not a bridge now. Poster's still there. Look at all those birds. It reminds me of a puffin colony or something. Yeah, yeah, this is washed off the bird. Ew, have I got my hand on bird poo? Oh, gross. Thanks, guys. Ew. <laughs> not very exotic, but we've come to Sainsbury's. We're starving and we don't know how long it'll take us to get to any other cafes. So we're going to go and eat in Sainsbury's cafe. I'm going for a toasty. I've managed to slot my coffee everywhere. Look at this though. Cheese on the outside. What's not to love? I am having cheese and onion actually. Ibis slathered his one in brown sauce. How much is pot? Mm. Just what I wanted. This is our view. I'm rather like that. Looking out at water. That's true. Oh, look, I've come outside, and the first thing I've seen is this beautiful, what I presume is a cormorant, but do tell me if I'm wrong. What's it doing that thing with its wings for then, I wonder? Oh, look, he's having a little preen. Look at this line. On this line of things, there's like a seagull on almost every little bit. And they're evenly spaced as well. They have their own landing pod. Their own landing pod. Ibib thinks they're all individual landing pods. Reminds me of um, old-fashioned swing seats, you know, when you were little. It's like play equipment for the seagulls. So we're going to have a bit more of an explore. It's about 10 past three now. I'm wondering continuously how is he's getting on. When I left her and the lady, they looked like they were going to get on really well. Like old friends already by the time I... <laughs> left. Hey, look at this thing that we've just come across. It's some kind of wheeled thing, maintenance unit. There's a pump thingy here with an end on it that looks like that. Some sort of pressure gauge, I am guessing. And look at all these things. Oh, ow, just bang my head on that, whatever that is. Look, we got Allen key set, spanner, wrench. I presume that's a wrench. Oh, more Allen keys. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Somebody watching will know. Oh, it's, it's coming in grease. I'm gonna need to give my hands a wash. Screwdrivers, and what was that last thing? Another thingy like that. Look, it's for bikes, push chairs, wheelchairs. Oh yeah, interesting. Oh, my hands, they're all oily now. Ew. Luckily I had a tissue wiping the oil off. It stinks of oil though. Oh, sorry, glare of the sun. But look, we found all these rowing boats. We're going to continue on with our walk now. Look at these lovely boats. I don't know, I feel better for having a bit of food, you know. Oh, that really hit the spot, that did. Come to some sort of boatyard and see underneath them. Right, what is that? A boat transporter for on land? <laughs> Tractor towed, whatever it is. Looking at that big one there, it's like a double-decker boat. Oh, we've come up to the end, look. We're coming to have a look at that great big beast of a boat. Humphrey Bogart. He's talking about some film Hepburn, maybe? in I the old days. Guessing. African yeah. Queen. Is this something I'm allowed to put in my vlog? It's not something rude, yeah, is it? Like, yeah. We've just been walking along here. Ooh. 
rivers that way. <laughs> I've got my GoPro out for a bit of actual stable footage. I love this sort of walk because it just makes me feel like I've come on holiday, you know, because you always, well, I always end up going somewhere where there's boats. Gosh, it's paint's all coming off, isn't it? Some steps going down there that obviously predate the railings. I wonder if anybody goes down there ever. I mean, there's not much of anywhere to go, is there? There's that boat close up, look. Seen better days, isn't it? Oh, look, I bet this hasn't moved for ages. What do you reckon? I haven't seen any fish yet. Come around the other side. Oh, um... I'm guessing, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing that the stainless steel hand railing is somewhat newer than the boat. Yeah, looks it, doesn't it? It looks like it's just been fitted, so presumably <laughs> somebody is in the process of... Doing it up? Doing it up. Yeah, yes. maybe. Look, there's actual plants growing out of the lifeboat or whatever that is, dinghy. Yeah, dinghy, yeah. I don't suppose you'd have a lifeboat that size on a small little boat like that, would you? I don't know. Something called the pump house. We're kind of following our noses a bit, aren't we? Pump house key says, come on in, nothing beats the pub. Yeah, I think you'd agree with that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness, I've just seen a tram. But anyway, look, there's a lovely little church called St. Nicholas Seaman's Church for the men of the sea, I presume. Dylan Thomas Theatre. Didn't know that was there. And, oh, there's a tramway centre. All right, I'm breaking into a run. Oh, <laughs> you know, if you know me, you know I like trams. I didn't even know this was here. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, tram. I don't think it's open. Oh, have to come back when it's open. Oh, wow. You can't see in very well, can you? Because of all the reflection. I'm having trouble containing my excitement. Look, I know, that's what I was just saying. Oh, I had the camera off for a second and I was like, then I saw this. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but it's very exciting. Replica of early Mumbles railway carriage. Railway carriage? This carriage was built for the 150th anniversary celebrations of the Mumbles railway held in 1954. Swansea Museum Tramway Centre. Oh, with a model of a horse. Big, isn't it? Oh, there's another tram. Oh, I have to come here again. Right, next time I be wants to take me out for a treat. I know what I want to do. So sorry that you can only see reflections. Most frustrating. Oh. Light ship in the tug. Yeah, oh, light ship thingy coming up. Oh, let's have a closer look at this then. Looks like it's wonky. Well, it, it, that it, funnel. It, it's only uh, leaning backwards, it's not leaning sideways. Oh, right. That's how they are on the ship. What have we got here? Oh, it's the museum. Look, National Waterfront Museum. I didn't realise we'd come to this part. I liked it now. We went before. Why is it closed? What day is it? Thursday? But, oh, this looks interesting. This reminds me of little submarine windows there. God, it's so fascinating. I wonder how old it is. Lifeboat there, really old fashioned looking lifeboat, isn't it? Yeah, I'd be thinks that's at least a hundred years old, that's his best guess, anyway. Do let me know if you know any different. And look, a light ship, see, like a lighthouse boat on a ship. Well, I think that's cool. Another aging hulk, yeah, what's it called? Hellwick, they're all decommissioned because of GPS. Oh, GPS, of course. God knows how old that is. Are those oars yeah. tucked that's, away under uh, there? Wow, or is it a stretcher no, they're, they're for carrying? Ours, no, yeah. those are definitely yours. Yeah, they're like Oh, right, it's not for that then. It's like, oh, no, the engine stopped, not. lads, all hands to the oars. <laughs> I don't think you'd get with that. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you know, it'd take you a while to get going. You need like thousands of people. Well, a little bit. <laughs> it probably weighs about 100 Look, mechanism, winchy thingies. There's plants going on there. I'm going to swap cameras a minute so you can see the. Yeah, the yeah, rust. Horror. So it would have had extensive living uh, quarters. I don't suppose they had an ancillary role, really, you know, uh, other than being a, a sighting for a light. For example, I don't think they had a second purpose. Although famously, the pirate radio all broadcast from light ships. Good day, Radio Caroline and all that. Yeah. And there is the light up there, look. Redundant, because of the modern age. 
But wow, though, it's amazing standing here and looking back into the past. Like a window into another world. Oh, speaking of which, looks like China around here. Not that I've ever been to China. I'd love to go to China. But look at all these lanterns, look. Because there's a Chinese restaurant here. We'll have to come back again for like an outing. I especially want to see the trams, though. I was saying to IB because I like totally got waylaid gawping in the window and I had to go and jog and catch up with him and I pointed out to him that going past a tramway centre with me is a bit like trying to go past a lamppost with a dog. You're just going to get held up. I'm holding IB up with vlog lag. If I use the GoPro I don't have to stop, I can just walk and it'll still be smooth so this is going to be the plan from now on. No more zoomy shots it, uh, until I come across something I can't resist. Are those lights? Are those like LEDs or something? I got a zoom urge but I'm not. I'm going to just keep going because we've got to get Izzy. I wonder if it's going to light up and like have like images on yeah. it like a light show. Oh this is a cool place. I'm glad we've come. Dyslexia assessments happen in two places and the other one's Cardiff Bay and I tried and tried to get an appointment there but there was just no gaps which is why we've ended up coming to Swansea because I just wanted to get it done you know. But anyway it's beautiful. The restaurant there called Pescador and you know it really smells like like a Pescador really fishy but in a nice way actually. Oh, that's not such a good smell, whatever that is. <laughs> Sewerage-y, but it's gone away now. IB's found an aged lifeboat, look. We've just had a little diversion. Oh, the sea air, it smells absolutely delicious. Look at this funny looking thing. Yeah. Sundial? It's got compass points on it. Oh, I can't be a sundial, surely, because it's not dial -y. Got Roman numerals on it. Look, the seawall. IB suspected it was here and he wanted to have a quick diversion to see. Oh, lovely. Oh, it smells lovely. I love the smell of the open sea like that. Mm, I can smell the seaweed. Yeah, let's have some days out in Swansea. Last time we went to Merthyr, we just wanted to come back again as well. This is what we do. We get a taste for a place for the first visit and then want to come again. Just come across this sign by apparently the Swansea Observatory which we were wondering if that's what that was. But anyway, look what it says, it's like tick boxes. Why are you littering? One, I am stupid. Two, I don't care about nature. Three, mummy still cleans up after me. Four, all the above. Anyway, um, we got about an hour before we've got to get Izzy, but we are heading back the exact same way that we came. Look, 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 it's got a fish. It's got a fish. What's he doing? Is he shaking it to kill it or? Ew, ew, it's going, ew, it's split it, hold that, no, no, it's not. Do you think it's going to like swallow the whole thing, just like open its throat up? Ew, that's savage, that is nature at work. I want to see if it like swallows it whole. Oh, it's trying, isn't it? Look, look, it's not going to fit, surely. If it doesn't do it soon, I'm just going to have to move and we'll never know what happens because I've got to go get Izzy. Bye-bye, Mr Cormorant. Oh, 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 no, can't tear myself away, but I have to. Bye-bye, Cormy. I've come back and I'm around the other side. Look, uh, that seagull's watching very closely. It's like, I'll have some if you don't want it all. It's one of those like teenager seagulls, isn't it? It's not fully fledged with its adult feathers yet. Right, have to go, bye. We've arrived back at the car. We're actually something like 20, yeah, 23 minutes early for Izzy, but we're just gonna sit here and have a rest for a bit until she's ready to come out and then we'll find out how she got on. We're on our way back home about five past six in the evening just got back i'm the only one here because ib is actually going to drop izzy at my dad's ready for college tomorrow morning on his way home so that's amazing now yeah she has an official diagnosis of dyslexia after all these years better late than never she will qualify for extra time in exams and a reader and specific like a sort of tutor support as well it's like the biggest weight lifted off, I can tell you. Izzy feels the same, but she also feels a bit dumb, she says, because she came down quite low. She scored quite low in certain areas, which means that she's dyslexic, you know, but she saw, you know, seeing it plotted on a graph, she felt a bit sort of like inadequate about that. And I said, well, don't be so silly, you know, you've done so well without this diagnosis. And that's what the lady said as well. So, yeah. Moving forward, apparently she's going to be entitled to, what's it, right on my hand, disabled students allowance when she goes to uni, bit of extra money. So glad we got it done, honestly, I know it's a lot of money, but 
no, I just I don't regret it at all. I'm really, really pleased that we did this today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did like it, could you please give me a like because it really helps the channel to grow and I really appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my adventures here in South Wales and beyond, do feel free to hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!